Hey Nerdy Knitters, in this video we're looking at 10 more projects that are perfect for beginner knitters. In the first video about this topic, which I'll link at the end of this video, we focused on the basics, really basic patterns that focused on garter stitch, which is knitting every row, and then a few more patterns that had some purl stitches and other things in there to help you gain a little bit more experience. Now this set of 10 patterns will build on those skills. We're moving past our garter stitch basics and finding a few more projects that are still perfect for beginners, but add a few more techniques that are important for knitters to know. Now once you have the knit stitch down, you really wanna start working on that purl stitch too. And these projects will help you with that and with learning some basic increases and decreases and other techniques. Now there's 10 projects here. I've divided them into two groups, five that are home related projects and then five that are perfect accessories that you can work on. Let's start with our home related beginner knitter projects. Our first one is the On the Bias pillow from Lion Brand Yarn. Now this one, we're still working in garter stitch with this pillow, but it's tipped on its side. It's worked on the bias. So you're starting at one tip of the pillow, one corner, and adding increases to get to the full width of the pillow and then decreasing back down to get to the other corner. So you're still working in garter stitch, but you're adding those increase and decrease stitches. It kind of reminds me of that basic dishcloth that everybody learns to knit when they're new knitter that starts at a tip and uses increases and then decreases. So this pillow is a similar kind of project to that. Dish towels are another perfect beginner project. They're worked flat and I really like those ones that have the buttons and buttonholes that you can hang on your stove. I find them really convenient to use. Now these knit dishcloths from Yarnspirations are perfect. You can practice seed stitch, which is another very common pattern that's good to know, that combines knits and purls. And you'll also learn how to make a buttonhole and attach a button and work some decreases to create the top of the dish towel. And it uses that simple handicrafter cotton that you can find at most big box stores. Next on my list is a blanket. So this is a big project that you can really practice your skills on from Knit Picks, their Easy Stripes Blanket. Now this is also worked in garter stitch and it's nice because you're also starting at one tip instead of having to cast on for the full length of the blanket. You're starting at a corner and using increases and decreases. But this one also adds stripes, so you're learning to add a second color to your work and change color at the beginning of a row, which is a very good skill to have. Now, if you're up for a bit of a challenge, a round dishcloth is a really good thing to practice learning short rows. This dishcloth right here, it has act it's worked flat. You make each of these little wedges, one at a time, but you use something called short rows to do it. I've got a full video tutorial that will walk you through exactly how to do this. It's just worked in garter stitch and you're using yarn overs to make some decorative holes and to increase. And then you're working short rows. Now they sound scary, but they're really not. This pattern's really very simple. So I'll put a link down below for that if you wanna learn how to make that dishcloth. And our last project recommendation for your home that's really good for beginner knitters is the Diagonal Eyelet Blanket. Now this is a baby blanket, so it's a little smaller. And it also starts at one edge, like that dishcloth and those other projects, the pillow and the blanket. And we still have garter stitch, but this time we've added some sections of stockinette with eyelets. So you're learning to work a few different combinations of patterns together. So it's a great project when you're ready to move beyond garter stitch and you wanna introduce a few new stitch patterns. Now, before we look at our next five projects, we're moving on to accessories. I wanna stop and ask if you have any recommendations for projects for new knitters. Knitters that are ready to move beyond just knitting when they've added in purling and they're learning some increases and decreases and new techniques, but are still simple enough for new knitters who are building their confidence. If you have one of those, put a link or a comment down below and tell us about it. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you like to get nerdy with your knitting. Now let's look at those five accessory patterns that are perfect for new knitters. First up are the Grape Jam Wristers from Lion Brand Yarns. Now these use knits and purls only to create a texture that looks like a rib on the side and then stockinette along the palm and the back of the hand. They're worked flat and then they are seamed. Now if you're ready to knit a hat but you're not quite ready to try knitting in the round, which is really easy by the way, then you can knit hats flat. And this next project 
also has a scarf to go along with it, but the hat is knit flat. It's the men's basic hat and scarf knit set from Yarnspirations. So you'll work the hat and the scarf both in a rib pattern, and after you've knit the brim of the hat, you'll switch to stockinette. So if you're working flat, that means you'll be knitting one row followed by purling one row and repeating that for the length, and then you work your decrease stitches to make the crown, and then you'll seam it up when you're all done. So something small like that is a perfect project to learn how to work a basic seam. So when you tackle your first seamed sweater, you'll know how to make those seams from these smaller projects. When you're ready for a bit of a change from basic rib patterns, knit two, purl two, or knit one, purl one, try a mistake stitch rib pattern. It's still a basic rib, but it's offset by one stitch, so it sort of looks a bit different. It has a different texture to it. It's really fun. And the Mistake Rib Scarf from Pearl Soho is the perfect way to practice that stitch. Number four on the list is the Seeded Stripes Poncho from Mary Maxim. This textured poncho features lots of combinations of knit and purl stitches. There's a panel of rib that will go around the neck, but the body of the poncho is worked in a moss stitch pattern. So this is also knit flat, like a big, big rectangular scarf, and you seam two edges together to create the poncho shape. And moss stitch can be confused with some other stitch patterns, seed stitch, double moss, there's lots of different names for them, depending on where you live. So I've linked a video here so you can see what the difference is between those different stitch patterns. Now my last pattern recommendation is a shawl, a top-down triangle shawl, the grain shawl from Tin Can Knit. You can see it right here. Their pattern is really simple, it's clear and easy to follow, it's got some great instructions, and it's a good introduction to shawl knitting. Now when you're ready for a bit of a challenge, this is a great project. It looks harder than it is, but once you understand how it's constructed, it's really easy to work. And it's worked in garter stitch, you can add some stripes for some changes in color, but the basic shawl itself just uses increases. You start right here at the top, and you use yarn overs to create two triangles that go down. And I added some stripes to mine. This was the first shawl I ever knit. There we have it. There's our 10 patterns, perfect for new knitters. You've tackled your knits, you started with your purling, so add some new techniques and build your skills. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have a recommendation for a pattern that's good for new knitters. And be sure to subscribe if you like to get nerdy with your knitting.